Louisiana, we get all kinds of different animals like alligators and snakes, but one thing we don't get a lot of is geckos. See, we only have two geckos in this part of Louisiana that I live in. It's the house gecko and the Mediterranean. And they're both pretty common. They're found a lot around houses and all kinds of places like that. So today, we're going to be out and we're going to be looking for both of those geckos. Let's go. Oh, check this out. That's not a gecko, but it's still pretty cool. It's a praying mantis. Look at that. Now, I'd have to guess that this is a female praying mantis because of the size. Man, it's a bright green color. A lot of them I find are actually brown, so it's really cool to see the green ones. This little bug would actually be something that would eat geckos. They would eat what we're looking for. Now, praying mantises, you can see why they're called praying mantises. Their, their front feet are folded, almost like they're praying, and they've got really sharp little claws in there. I've actually had them to actually grab you if you try to, if you're too uh, rough with them, if you grab them like that. Like if I were to try to pick them up like that, and they'll spike you, and they've got all these little spikes all along that hand. Now you can see a big buggy head, they've got big old eyes and they'll actually look at you. They'll turn their head and look at you. They're a really intelligent little bug. Probably one of the world's most famous insects. Really cool thing to find. That is awesome. Back on your plant, bud. That's awesome. Got a little piece of trash right here. Gecko. It just popped out of it when I moved it. Oh, yes! There's nothing under it, okay. Wow, he came flying out of that little piece of thing. Well, this would be a house gecko. Look at him. Now, house geckos, you can see why they call them house geckos. The most common place to find them today is around houses, whether it's under trash, under a house, and oftentimes people see these guys on their windows at night. That's something they're really good at, is staying on lights around houses and eating little moths. That's one of their favorite things to eat. And their eyes are perfectly made to live at night. That is the specialty of a gecko, is to come out at night and to be able to stick to glass and plastic and anything that would be on a building. So they're very good at being around houses. That's why this is called a house gecko. Now these guys are originally from some of the Asian areas along the coast of Asia and up to the Mediterranean but um, they've made it across the world, they made it into Australia I believe, into North and South America, and they really don't have too many negative impacts. I'd say the worst thing is that they kind of compete with like tree frogs and other lizards for food, but even that, I haven't seen too many issues with these guys. Well, he's getting a little crazy. But uh, as you can see, this guy, very white color, much lighter. The Mediterranean is a much darker colored lizard, and hopefully we'll be able to find one for you guys today. But uh, these guys are very cool, very common. I'm going to get him in a little plastic container. We're going to hold on to him for a little while. So if we catch a Mediterranean, we can show the house gecko and the Mediterranean next to each other. Whoop, he's chomping me. Oh, come on, buddy, let go. <laughs> Cute little guy. All right, let's go find a Mediterranean. Oh, my goodness. That's a baby king snake. Oh, my goodness. Check this out. That's a baby king snake. <laughs> Look at that. That is crazy. Whoop. Come here, little buddy. Now, baby king snakes, they would be eating what we're looking for. We're looking for geckos, and baby king snakes absolutely love geckos. They'll eat geckos all day long, and they'll also eat little baby mice and skinks and other little lizards. They'll eat all kinds of stuff. And the reason they're called king snakes is because they'll eat other snakes. So a little guy like this, he'd be able to eat a full-grown brown snake and other baby snakes. Now I'm guessing he'd be out here getting some sun. It has cooled off in the past couple days and that black color with all those little specklings would actually make it really easy for this little guy to heat up. Now I wouldn't say that this would be a newborn, I'd say this would be a yearling, about a year old. When they're born they're really tiny little things. Gorgeous little snake, not super common, run into them relatively often but just can't find them whenever you want so that's really cool to run into. Found a lot, a lot of big ones, they get huge, they'll get about six feet long. And look at that belly. Got a really cool checkered belly. Whoop, it's okay, bud. Yeah, that's an amazing snake. And a good snake to have around, too, because they'll eat venomous snakes like moccasins and rattlesnakes. So uh, having king snakes around is really good. Wow, that's an awesome little guy to run into. Not a gecko, but awesome. See you, bud. Now, 
Now, something I find cool about Mediterranean geckos is that unlike house geckos, I think they'll kind of go away from houses a bit more. Even though Mediterraneans like to be around houses, just like house geckos do, they'll go up in woods and stuff. So I'm gonna check around these logs real quick. That's not gonna move, okay. Oh, there's one right there. Hang on. Okay, watch out for that little caterpillar right there. Oh. Yep, yep, got it. That is a Mediterranean. Yep, that's a Mediterranean right there. Yes, got him. All right, check that little dude out. That is a Mediterranean gecko. Now you can see instantly, very similar size to the house gecko, and uh, they will get a bump bigger, but this is about average size. Now both of them, very similar size, very similar skin texture, kind of a similar looking face. I think the Mediterranean's got a little bit of a longer nose and bigger eyes. Now something cool I can see about this gecko is his tail. He had to regrow his tail at one point. You can see right there where it had been broken off as a different color. So that's something really cool. Geckos can actually regrow their tails, but it won't be the exact same color as the first tail, which is something interesting. Wow, that is awesome. Now we're gonna go and get the house gecko. We got him in a little plastic container and we're gonna show you guys both of them right up next to each other. All right guys, well, these are both of our geckos for the day. In my right, I've got the little Mediterranean, and in my left, I've got the little house gecko. And really, you can see a lot of similarities between these two geckos. In fact, it'd be pretty hard to tell the difference if you don't have them side by side, or you don't know which one you're looking at. Now, talking about the house gecko, one thing that's really cool about the house gecko is it's actually kind of transparent, much clearer skin, and you can actually see some of the organs inside of the gecko. Whereas the Mediterranean is a much darker color and not you can't see through the Mediterraneans at all really. Another thing I'm looking at is the nose on the Mediterranean is a little bit more pointed and the eyes are in a little bit of a different position. Both very cool geckos and they'll both be found in pretty similar places so it can be hard to tell at times. Now both of these geckos are invasive here but they don't pose too many problems to anything living here. In fact they more provide food for a lot of different snakes and birds and stuff. And uh, I really like the little Mediterranean. He look, he's got a more uh, leopard look to him. He's got all these really cool spots on him. Whereas the house gecko, I would want to call this a ghost gecko because of that white color and how you can see through them. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. And if you did enjoy, definitely leave a like. And I will see you guys next time. Alright, let's go let these little guys go.